Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie Show. How you going, everyone? Thank you for joining us on this uh, uh, podcast number 72. Is it? Mm, maybe. It's in the 30s, I believe. We've just had an absolute fucking battle trying to get this working oh, for you. I've been trying to get a better setup where we have our new mixer and multicam and it's been a fucking nightmare. But yeah. Konnichiwa anyway. You we get got, distracted. We got one from South Africa. Goi di Midag from a South African in New Zealand. Goi di Midag, which mm. I think means hello or it may be something very inappropriate. I feel like that's not the pronunciation. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Um, I think it is. I've decided it is. Also, Konnichiwa, bonjour, everyone else, international listeners. Mm. Massive show tonight. Massive show today. Thank you for joining the Tom and Frenchie podcast. The only podcast in town. Uh, in town? Yes. I was going to I was gonna say the only podcast in town that. And then I was going to do like a claim, like a brag. I'm trying to think of one. That has inverted penises. I don't know. I do have one of those. It is quite cold outside. It's been the windiest fucking weekend. Did wind you find that wind is the worst of the weathers. Everyone knows that. You sure? There's only the only good thing about winds is if you're fucking like a windboarder and you're like, oh fuck yeah, I'm gonna go out and windboard or, or like a, a kite. kite, a kite, someone from fucking Mary Poppins, just a human kite. You'd be like, the fuck English, yeah, I'm gonna get a spin. Wind. Like if you're like a pet kite. You'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get a fucking spin today. Old Jeffro's going to... pet kite. Yeah, pet kite. They're going to... Jeffro's going to take me out fucking chirping at the bit. Other than that, I don't know who else likes the wind. Mm. So Sailors. Sailors, yeah. Sailors like wind. Those people who do... What is it? Sydney to Tasmania. They're sailors too. No, they're, they're a bit... They're a bit, still sailors. They're on the camper side, don't you reckon? <laughs> what? I feel like they wear like... Um, like bike riders wear, they wear those outfits. I assume. Lycra. Yeah, they wear. They're lycra. sailors in lycra. Yeah. Okay. Do I don't reckon? think that's correct. Wind socks like the wind. Are we going to talk about wind? Yeah, this we whole are going to talk about everything Jesus, that I'm likes move on. the wind. So it's been a big week in the media everywhere. There's a lot of talk about shootings and all that sad shit. It's been the craziest week, and the. There was a sad shooting, but then there was like a fu- not a funny suicide, <laughs> but like an interesting one. Yeah, so we're going to talk today. About, we're going to talk about Trump's cl- like comments about the shootings. And then we're also going to talk about Frenchie's um, old colleague Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Don't start that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you were in the circle. <laughs> Everyone knows it. <laughs> Don't fucking start, you pedo. <laughs> When she was in the Jeffrey scene. Epstein, the most interesting suicide ever. It's have something out of a heard, spy movie. Have you heard about him before this controversy? No. Okay, good. No. So I thought like I should know who he is, but no. I, yeah. I, when he's I like f- in finance and shit. But when he's got I a lot first of heard, like they were like the headline was Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide in jail. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't know the first name. I don't know any Jeffreys. I don't know any Epsteins. I don't give a fuck. And yeah. then when you hear that, we might as well talk about this one first. Yep, let's do it. When you hear the whole story, you're like, actually, I didn't know you before this headline, but so now I've got, I need to know all about you. I can tell you all you. about it because I've got it ready. Mm. Um, let me give you a background to people who have no idea what we're talking about. So Jeffrey Epstein was a wealthy US financer who was surrounded by powerful and famous people. That's what the headlines say. Yes, he is. So he was also a convicted sex offender who was facing new sex trafficking charges that could have put him in prison for the rest of his life. Yep, so he'd already been convicted of a few sex crimes back, back in, the, in day, the day. One of them, he was meant to, I was reading about it, one of them, he was meant to, like, it was so bad that he could have got the death penalty. What did he get instead? 12 months. For like 12 months, and then he didn't even have to go the whole time. Yeah, that's fucked up. But he was rich as shit. And let me, let me just tell you who his circle of famous friends were, and you tell me... If you could guess that he's a bit on the weird side. Okay, okay. okay. Actors. Kevin Spacey <laughs> and Woody Allen. <laughs> oh. Legit. Legit. <laughs> then there's Britain's Prince Andrew, who I don't know who that is, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say a bit of a shady character. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say <laughs> okay. that. Okay, which... Harvard Law Professor Alan, I don't know who that is. Yeah, fuck professors, I feel you. They're weirdos. was also... Um, Famously associated with Donald Trump, 
and also Bill Clinton. Donald Donald Trump's got a good tweet about him. Have you seen that? A good uh, comment about him. I saw that Donald Trump retweeted a conspiracy theory. No, he, re- he retweeted a conspiracy theory. But this quote uh, back, uh, he got asked about Epstein before all the oh, stuff that, yeah. came out. So Epstein got convicted of child sex. It was like, was it trafficking? Was it children or like teenagers? Which isn't like, I know it's not a massive difference, but Tom, is it a big difference? They're both bad, Frenchie. Okay. Just Mm. because you're a teacher doesn't mean you can get away with these things. Oh, where the fuck is... Oh, I clicked onto the next article, didn't I? Yeah. So Donald Trump said said this about... Good good fun. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He said, like before all this came out, he said... I've known Jeff for 15 years. This is in 2002. Terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and oh. many of them are on the younger side. Is that what it says? I swear. Oh, my God. And there's a picture of them together. Trump with a woman, Jeffrey Epstein with a woman, I guess. Fucking hell. Or a girl. So, anyway, he's uh, got new, new sex crime charges, whatever. Yeah, so he's looking at uh, 45 years behind bars. And then, in the last few days, was it today or yesterday? It last few days. Yeah, whatever. He um, Well, first of all, while he was behind bars, there was first they moved him to a suicide watch because there were marks on his neck. He already tried to kill himself. There were, Th- there were marks on his neck and they weren't bruises. sure if they were from him or from someone else is what they said. Or from like a vampire. Well, no, someone <laughs> trying to kill a fucking sex offender. And so they put him in, like, watch, and then they let him go, and then he still managed to kill himself with bed sheets. So I was like, this guy might try to kill himself in jail, watch out. After a week, he doesn't. Like, oh, he's all good now. Yeah. Next minute, and the dead. W- and surely, like, people have said, surely there's cameras in a ward of someone that high profile. Didn't they say they malfunctioned at that time? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see that, but that would add to a conspiracy for sure. Well, either the the cameras malfunction because there should be uh, cameras, yeah. and they haven't come out. And or so are they holding? Do you it? think someone killed him, or do you think he killed himself? I guess they wouldn't was release. Coerced? I guess they wouldn't release the footage if he hung himself as well. But do you think like he got a powerful visitor saying you need to kill yourself that now you can do it, or like they made sure like the guards also- didn't check him for twenty minutes or whatever, so he had time yeah. to do it. Uh, I could see both being real. Because I read be an honest. article. Because a lot of those guys are cowards. And instead of facing their, like, people alleging these things, they just kill themselves. Well, I read an article, like, and it was like a guard who used to work there. And he was like, blah, 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 the sheets, you can't hang them up. There's not enough uh, There's not enough height in the cell and all this stuff about how it's impossible to actually hang yourself yeah. in that cell. So it's actually... But, but the reason he did it, and this is why it's such a good conspiracy, because the talk was... He had, he was doing these kid sex parties. He was actually trafficking with famous people, with other celebrities. He was in a group of Hollywood pedophiles, and that's a real group. Oh, for sure. For sure. The Woody word Allen, on the street. Kevin Spacey, get Cl- out of here. The Clintons are in it. Trump's are in oh, it. They're all in earth. it. They're all in it. Actually, we, allegedly, we can't say that. We'll just get sued like nothing else. Yeah, well, there may or may not be in a, a parody. The main it was satire, it. It was satire. Saved it. But the the word on the street is there's Hollywood uh, pedophile ring. Um, Tom's applied to, hasn't got in yet. Yeah, not famous enough. <laughs> it's like One the day. blue tick. Yeah, <laughs> I applied through Instagram for some reason. And that's why he he suspiciously died because he was about to name some names, and there could have been some big, big, big ones. Big, oh yeah, big ones. Would have just been Donald Trump. Ooh, hypothetically. You don't want to get killed, Tom. Yeah. You know, don't pull that out into the open. Sati- satirically. Have you met my lawyer, Frenchie? He's <laughs> very good at responding to emails. I'm sure he will. <laughs> but yeah, it was trending Um, the, after the conspiracy theories came out. It was hashtag Clinton body count and hashtag Trump body count. Oh. So then... Trump retweeted a Clinton one <laughs> That's so kind of throw the trail off him. That's so what funny. Fuck, how is I the president s- doing that? That is fucking ridiculous. It was literally like who farted 
and people will just blame someone yeah. else real quick so no one think it would be them. Yeah. Whoever like blames the other person the loudest, it means it must have been the other person. <laughs> like uh. that so why do both of them why are both of them suspects? Clinton Because they're both friends with him. Both of them were friends with him long term. But didn't oh Clinton was friends yeah, with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Because he just like fucked her. Yeah, uh, but he was friends. They were both friends with Yeah. 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 So that's why there's suspicion there. There you go, guys. Uh, don't be friends with pedophiles. If it's one thing we've learned from this That's podcast right. and from this Steer story, clear. I think after every story, we're going to try to give you a little morality lesson, some sort mm. of nice conclusion to sum it all up. I love that. Like it's a like it's a TV it's a feel show, good feel good episode. TV show, yeah, like yeah. the Cosby Show. Yeah. Oh, wrong. Bad example. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, so, Dad. <laughs> hey, yeah. Okay. Hey, Dad, so our yeah. lesson at the end of this story: don't. Be friends with uh, pedophiles. Sad news from last week's story. We talked about a drug lord who tried to escape prison by dressing up as his 16-year-old daughter. And he wore a fake cosmetic outfit. He wore rubber. like a fucking gimp mask made of rubber. <laughs> and gimp then mask. he also wore a bra. He wore, <laughs> he wore a woman's shirt. He went all out. You've got a gimp mask, don't you? Yeah, I bought it. Tom bought a gimp mask in LA. For a video and we didn't even it's use like it. like it's so for a video and then I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, we didn't use that gimp mask. Because uh, you sent it to Danny and he wasn't keen. It was for his video. Yeah, so who's got the gimp mask? Oh, me. <laughs> I go. paid good money for that. <laughs> um, you really sidetracked that. Where are we? Um, So, yeah, the so Brazilian yeah. drug lord. So, where we left off, we were laughing about... Sorry, that's just something... I'm not worried. It's an alarm. Things happen. Go on. Um, so we left off where we were laughing at the fact that he got busted, trying to do this grand escape plan. Didn't realize two days after that, old mate topped himself. Oh, no. In prison? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, There's another a theme this episode. Think, yeah. This is sad. So what we didn't talk about, though, he was leaving, left the 16-year-old in prison. You know, like he obviously had to do a switcheroo. It was exactly like Zoolander too. Yeah, but now she's in trouble because she was this, uh, oh, like helping him out. She was an accomplice. Yeah, but surely as a minor, you don't really get. No, nah, she's in jail now. No way, yeah. fucking <laughs> hell. So that's a real, real good story. He he's in. J- oh, what she's in jail and she's he in jail. Himself. Her dad's dead. Fucking hell. That's a rough afternoon. Um. So the moral of that story. Don't do what your dad says. <laughs> Don't do what your dad says. Or you'll kill him and end up in jail. I would say mm. that was a very vague one. You could be more specific. And if your dad's in prison, you don't have to let him dress as a human sex doll to help him escape. There's other things you can do. Like you what? Have, like to escape prison? No, I've already to told you. I told already prison. told you how to escape prison. What's you that? tattoo the, the map of the prison oh, yeah. on your body. <laughs> Dude, we're going to get sued again. I'm telling you. You're pushing it with these stealing ideas lately. You stole I'm not it from the adventure any lady. Ideas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, had, I thought I'd give you yeah, a Yeah, no, it's good to. Uh, thanks for that, Tom. It's good to recap the stories because all our listeners are getting grossed. We, we just paint pictures of, of these stories. They may have heard them in the news, but they need closure, and so do mm. I. And that's very sad closure. So I hope she gets out of jail. I think that's going to keep. Yo, keeping. does she I'm have go a? Stop that. You stop that. I'm gonna. I've got an idea. So, dad went to jail in Brazil. Drug lord gets his 16 year old daughter to bring in mannequin outfit swap, so he he can escape as her. What other relatives does she have? To do the same game because the prison guards will not be expecting the same thing. <laughs> no, they'll be like, they've tried that once. So I don't know if her mum comes in or her grandpa is what I'm thinking. Easier to dress as an old dude. You just need some like a Hessian sack. I like where you're going with this. Or has she got a daughter? I don't know. Can they use the same outfit to save money? Can they use the same outfit? Or I saw in um, Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that like the oldest movie of all time? <laughs> no, it's like, I actually read the book too. It's a sick book, sick movie. That was a little flex. I can read whatever. <laughs> no one believes that. Um, Count of Monte Cristo. 
he's digging an escape tunnel with uh, this old dude in a cell. Old dude dies because, oh, yeah, this is crazy. So he's digging an escape tunnel. He's like, I'm through, I'm free. Oh, no, no, no. The old dude digs it to, into his cell. One or the way, the other. Instead of going out, they've gone into the other person's cell. So they're all Oof. hanging out. Rule old dude. Old dude dies. He gets put in a body bag. The guy's Cannon Monte Cristo's watching from behind the tunnel. He goes, sneaks in the body bag, puts right. him in the hole in the wall. And so when they're about to throw him off the cliff, he's like, Argh. no, they're about to bury him. He goes, Argh, comes I was about out. To say, that's a rough. Comes funeral. out. They're about to bury him, but it's in like a, it's like a, Old it's time. like a crazy island, right. like for political prisoners. And he goes, ah, and then he dumps off and swims to shore to freedom. So I'm saying, could she sneak into her dad's body bag? That's, <laughs> that's dark. That's I know. Real dark. <laughs> it's dark, but. I mean, there's an option for her if she's listening. It's, Do they um, get podcasts in jail? Ah, uh, why not? Do they translate this Translate to languages? Portuguese, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were playing a Brazilian soccer team on um, Sunday. Mm. And. Um, they speak Portuguese the whole time. So, because they, A, A, they're doing moves, which we can't know. They're going blah, 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 blah. B, mostly to swear at us. They call us putters a lot, which we mean beans, bitch, or slut, or something like that. And then there was one guy who was so fed up with us, this one player, <laughs> he yells <coughs> in like broken English, he's like, You are fucking shit! That's fair. And I was like, at least say it in Portuguese, bro. Have the respect to pretend you're not insulting us. Did he say you are fucking shit? Yeah, you fucking shit. Like you Not to personally? me, like to the oh, other guy. Okay. To the other guy. I'm fucking shred that team, mate. <laughs> I got studded so bad in the top of my legs. It's, do you want to see it? Not really. There's a big bruise, big stud mark. No, thank I you. I pulled down my pants, I'll show you. I really don't want to see it. Okay. Thanks for the offer, though. But anyway, so yeah, Brazilian. I'll have a word to them about if someone wants to translate our podcast into Portuguese for the and prisons. Send out to prisons. Mm. Yeah, that'd be I'll nice. have a word to Get the defender drug next, lords listening. next time he's marking me. Maybe we can find out where they that's hide a, their money. It's a growth market, Brazilian podcasting. Who knows? Australian. I, I don't know a lot about it. I'll, I'll admit that. I think it's good we talk about foreigners so much that we get a lot of, uh, lot of messaging us saying, here's how you don't say this word. Oh, the other guy, the, the South African guy new, living in New Zealand also said you need to put Nando's on your list of fast food, Tom. That was on my list. Well, he said it wasn't high enough. Oh, he, it was very low. He said it was what insulting. What is your experience with Nando's? I like Nando's. It's just too expensive. Yeah, it is. Like, for what you can get at a Porto, you might as well go there. Like yeah, but Nando's is better than a Porto. I reckon Nando's is shit. Like, I've, every time oh. I've been there, it's been garbage. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's better wow. in New Zealand. I'm I'm saying Australia. The experience I've had, the fucking one in um near Chinatown, garbage. You're really getting hated about it. I'm passionate because I'm right. I quite I quite enjoy Nando's. They got all their little different sauces you can pick from. You don't like spicy food. What are you gonna have? But there's still different the sauces. Lemon and herb. Yeah, I do you get <laughs> lemon and herb. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that backfired. No. Um, did you hear about what's her name? Do a segue, Tom. Do it in a segue. You can do it. Brooke Houts. Houts. I think that's how it's H O U T. How would you say that? Hout. Yeah. Hout. Ho. Ho. This is going to be the rest of the podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, which one's here? Brooke Houts. Why are you saying it? Like that? <laughs> Brooke Houts. It's a silent H. Okay. It's a silent new T. <laughs> Brooke Hose. Basically, she's like a beauty <laughs> blogger and footage emerged. She went, she was doing a video with her dog. She's got this new Doberman, so it's a big dog. Uh, she was doing a video where she pranks the dog. She's a streamer or a YouTuber? Beauty blogger. Okay, YouTuber, yeah. yeah. Um, so she was putting like plastic wrap on doors and calling it and it was like not playing. It was okay. like figuring it out. It's like a puppy and it was having fun. It's a dog. Okay. And she accidentally uploaded... The raw footage first. And oh. this fucking bitch, bro, she was hitting the dog so hard. She spat in the dog's face like full psycho. 
What the fuck? And she uploaded that by accident. Suck shit. Suck shit. I'll show you the video. I think I saw like the spitting. It just seemed Bro. really unnecessary. It was so, and it's a fucking. She's amping this dog up because it's playing for her video. It's in a. It's like in a fun yeah, mood. It's a big a dog. Room. It's got heaps of energy. And then when it gets in her face while she's talking and licks her and stuff, she was like punching it in the face what the and fuck? shit. Fuck. And, this, and what she a got psycho. fucking. So shredded. has she been cancelled? She's on her way. Apparently, um, she should the go FBI, to Brazilian prison. Yeah, she should. The FBI were even like notified because she was animal abusing. Let me just find the link. The FBI deals with animal abusers. That's what I heard. I thought, wouldn't there be a different section? Yeah, you'd think so. You'd think like it would be like some sort of PETA, FBI, amalgamation, joint task squad. Yeah. Like animal police. Animal police would be a sick fucking show. <laughs> Yo! It's like the Avengers, but only for animal-related crimes. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's make that. It's probably already a thing, right? It's all... Like sh- cops type. Yeah, surely. But like a joke. We do it as a joke. Okay, we're gonna watch. Oh. Don't spit on him. G'day everyone, welcome back. Uh, oh, this is just this a dude. Is just um, spat on the dog. And then she she wrote an apology and she's like, I didn't spit on the dog. It's but like we can there was nothing see. else you could have been doing there. We can see you spit on the dog. Yeah, she said well, how she, was that? She <laughs> said she what a convulsive liar. Have you ever had a convulsive liar? And you're like, I just fucking saw you. Dude. Heaps of my students when I was teaching would do oh, that. They're just I've like, nah, the, that wasn't. I fucking saw you. One of my best friends growing up, right? Mm-hmm. Compulsive liar. Yep. Example. I was, we were probably 15, 16 when people are starting to get cars. Mm. And he goes to me, oh, I got a new car. And I go, oh, sick. And he told me all the details down to the bobble heads he had in the front of the car. Okay. He's like, I've got, he used to like Pantera. And he's like, Dimebag Daryl, bobble head in the car, all these details. So I said to my mum later when I was talking to her, I was like, oh, Andrew got a car. That's pretty cool. And then he came around and my mum's like, oh, I heard you got a car. And he's like, no. What? And he made up. He didn't even get a car, but he was telling me about the accessories in the car. So it was wha- like that much of a compulsive. But lie. why would he s- lie to you and then not your mum? Because she could probably call it out because she's like an adult. Because she knows about cars. Oh. No, he just changed it. He was trying to impress. That's not the point. But which lie was true? Did he have a car? No, or not? he didn't have a car. That's crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> you always go for the weirdest. That's like crazy. Points. No, that's not the weirdest <laughs> point. It is. I want to know, like. Do you reckon, maybe, I think he's trying to pull your mum, I'm going to be honest. What? It's like, no, I don't have a car, I need a lift home. Wink. But he didn't have a car. Exactly. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) It's a weak premise. (laughs) Well, don't get angry that your mate fucked your mum, Tom. (laughs) (laughs) So stupid. (laughs) So anyway, I can't wait for Frenchie to upload (laughs) this video of him abusing his dog, because he gives me the vibes. (laughs) No way. I'll, animal abuser. I will never abuse an animal. That's what Brooke would say. I'd I'd be... Uh, you wouldn't spit on it, would you? No way. Why would you spit on a dog? That's what Brooke would, would say. Would I lick a dog? Yes. Face, tongue to tongue? Yes. I'll do that. Right. Yeah. Would you? Lick a dog, yeah. tongue to tongue. Tongue to tongue. Maybe. Yeah, see? Depends how strong oh, the love s- was. Speaking of uh, streamers and uh, YouTubers... Did you see the ninja thing that happened? No. More interesting. So, you know how we talked about he went to the other platform? Yep. What was that platform called? Quick pick, quick quiz. I know that it was Microsoft and it was called... Oh, he's Twitch doing that He's doing that memory game. Twitch. To Access your memory palace, Tom. That's not coming. I know it was Microsoft and Microsoft starts with an M. What else starts with an M? It? Minecraft, what are mines? Gold, gold. What do I do with gold? I whack off onto it. Come, come stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frenchie. <laughs> I actually can't remember. I was exactly, hoping you were hoping stalling. Would save me. <laughs> anyway, he's on the new streaming service. Do you know what Twitch have done? No. They own his channel now. So they. His channel on Twitch. Oh, right. Because so it's still he's there. not streaming on it anymore. It should be still there. They fucked off all these videos and now they use it because it's still got whatever, 15 million subscribers, 14.5. That's fucking dope. They use it to promote trending channels on Twitch. 
So they fucked off all these videos. So you go there, you're not going to see a ninja video. You're going to see what Twitch is recommending to you from other streamers. They're so dodgy, man. Twitch is fucking dodgy. But what happened was one of the recommended videos, someone was live streaming porn. Okay. Yep. Live stream porn for two hours and it was in recommended. So it looked like Ninja was recommending porn for all his... So he could sue them for death. So he could sue them. I hope he does. So that's what uh, they were talking about on Drama Alert today. I watched it before I came over here. See, I love Drama Alert for the info, but I can't fucking stand The gnome dude fucking... Fuck. He needs a punch in the face. He's the worst... He's actually the fucking worst. It's uh, for those who don't know what Drum Alert is. Like, my, I've got a few mates who listen to this oh channel yeah, it's who very wouldn't. YouTube. It's YouTube Entertainment Tonight. So yeah. it's like it's like TMZ. It's like if YouTube is actually celebrities, which I guess they are. Yeah, they are. But uh, so it's just it's just some like of the it's hottest very gossip, the on, hottest gossip on YouTube. But yeah, the guy who hosts it's a fucking punish, man. Yeah, he's a he's a definitely Whoa. a weird weirder dude. He's he's going to be up there with fucking Epstein. <laughs> I'm just throwing claims out. <laughs> I don't mean dead. There's no way he's going to report on that. Tom <laughs> Armstrong from the YouTube channel. The Roundabout, roundabout Crew. crew More like Roundabout Poo. Causes Keemstar a pedophile. He said that Keemstar is in Jeffrey Epstein's. <laughs> 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 that would be fucking hilarious. He... <laughs> I would love that. He kind of seems like a guy who's just a loser his whole life. And, then and he still is. <laughs> no, but he's got and like... And then he gets yeah, a little absolutely. bit of YouTube clout and he's oh, like, I'm dude. the fucking man. And he's such a dick sometimes, like for no reason. Yeah. Uh, what are you going <sighs> to do? What are you going to do, Tom? All right. Prison escapes. How else would you get out? Hmm. Hmm. It's a good question, isn't it? Have you seen... Oh, yeah, I've got a good Id- good question. Okay. You just asked me one. But <coughs> okay. Yeah. Was that your, your was have you seen going to be related to prison escapes? Yeah. Okay. Go on. No, I want to hear yours. You no. Well, it's well. Okay. Deal with how have you? Deal with your prison escape. Well, I was thinking. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot of younger listeners on this podcast. A lot of high schoolers. Why don't we teach them how to get out of detention? Okay. Go. No, that's what I was thinking. In related to prison escapes, which is f- an interesting uh, thing to hypothesize on to talk about, but it's not going to be practical for only probably one percent of our only one percent of our listeners. Okay. But detention, getting Did out. Did you of ever detention? get detention? Yeah, all the time. What for? Everything. Just back chatting usually. Back chatting. Oh yeah, I'm the best back chatter. I've noticed <laughs> this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I did one where I mimicked the teacher. It was so oh, funny. Dude, mimicking is funny. They hated it so much. You have no idea. Of course. It's fucking annoying. Um, a guy who does a good one, he does a prank where it's mimicking people. So it'll be like, hi, do you have the time? And they're like, yeah, it's actually... It's <laughs> 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 <get> so, <laughs> so funny though. What, did you not get detention? I got detention like maybe once. Oh, right. Yeah. Now I got all the time. It was, it was, it's like, because they give for anything, they give it like, you don't do your work fast enough, you don't do your work at all. I don't know if they do that. They do. All the slow kids would be in detention. They give it all the time. That's not a thing. Talking in class. And I always got, I was always the kid who got blamed for talking in class when it wasn't even me that time. It was just me the times before, you know what I mean? Your voice is very unique. Yeah, but it wasn't (laughs) in high school. It was like everyone else was like, hello. Was it? Yeah, I'm Frenchie. Do you have any clips of that? Well, yeah, I do actually. Do I've got some home videos before my voice is broken. Can you bring them in? And then I think when it broke, I went extra low because I was trying to compensate. And then it just stuck that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was real high. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if one day I caught you out and you were speaking really high. And that was your actual voice. And this <laughs> voice is just a fucking joke. I wouldn't be surprised. You were the type. Hello. It's like a long game of you pretending to drink beers that time. It's like a different version. Hello. <laughs> But that's a fucking commitment. That'd yeah. be some good acting. I'd be a much better actor if I could do that. <laughs> yeah, true. You would be good at voices. I can't believe you only got detention once. I didn't what? get detention that much. I'm a pretty good person. I got after schools and stuff all the t- course. What? Oh, after schools are the worst because all your friends are going home and you got to figure out how to get Fuck home by that. yourself. 
No. Nah. Yeah, that's and not the, for me. And the bus to the train station already gone, so I had to walk to the train station. It was just such an effort. <laughs> but I didn't get them often because usually you can get out of them. Mm. You just got to talk. S- I, just did, I went to public school though, and you went to private. Some teachers hate your butt. Some teachers hate you. But public and private's probably a bit different. Yeah, well. true, true, like true. Like our school, like some kids were fucking skits, so like normal yeah. bands is not as. Nah, crazy. other kids throw a compass at me in a public school. Compass. Yeah, yeah like you know those hurt. those ones who were pointing in. My mates who went to like another high school and then in Canberra year eleven and twelve is college. It's fucking weird. So like a few high schools joined together for college, and um at their school when they'd have a relief teacher they'd play a game where they spat on her back <laughs> until she realised. So this poor relief teacher would just be walking around with loogies all over her and that have no idea. It's fucking disgusting. Was like Bro, Brooke so Houts. It was like Brooke yeah, Houts. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. Got it. That's fu- That's so yeah, that's unnecessary. Legit. That's legit. Like to stick a sign on her or something. Don't <laughs> spit on her back. How fucking gross is that? Like little kids fucking germs and shit. I was uh we had this I had this um class. It was at a selective school. So they were kind of funny, I didn't mind them, but they had this thing. I think I've told you about this once on a podcast. <laughs> it was this quite Asian kid. And they used to sing him happy birthday every time I had that class. That's funny. <laughs> every time. That's a good one. And he would like half laugh and be like, but he just really wanted to work. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's probably like, I it's feel like so I'm the funny. butt of this joke. No, uh, he wasn't prank. He wasn't the butt of the joke, but it was just like they just wanted to, just to annoy the teacher. They're like, it's Sam Young's birthday. Let's Actually, I've got a good him. one to how to get out of detention. Yes. Just say you've got a relief teacher like you were back in the oh, day. Yeah. I used to do this thing where I, if the teacher was getting annoyed because we we're being loud or something, I'd say Lucas and then his surname doesn't take shit from no one, and that wasn't my name. Oh, <laughs> so the teacher no, be like, that Lucas guy was a real <laughs> cunt. Lucas Smith don't take shit <laughs> yeah. from no one. Yeah, so she'd be like, obviously that's Lucas. Smith. Yeah, that's a massive one. A so one. with with casual teachers, guys always give a false name yeah. and if you do it confidently on the roll from the roll they won't call you up on it it's when you start sniggering like because often I don't excuse me no because I'm calling the roll it'll be like Kevin someone will go yep and even if it wasn't Kevin I'll just say yeah that's Kevin why would I not think of it but often they're like Kevin yep yeah and then you tune in <laughs> got him Michael <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kevin we got him are you really Kevin or are you not yeah now I don't yeah. think you're Kevin do it straight confidently enough um, you can even give a false name, but it's fine. Like, and also with substitute teachers, they write a note to the other t- teacher who's coming back. Unless you've got a psycho coming back, generally, it's not worth their time. You yeah. can just be like, no, nah, they were wrong. They're lying. That was actually like Karim. That wasn't me. Yeah, totally. Just lie. <laughs> Get out of the tension. That's life. Um, also, another thing you can do, I did this once, lice, head lice. Ooh. Didn't work. She ended up, I actually had to go straight to the office after class and then she combed them out myself, herself you, and I didn't have lice. Oh, really? <laughs> it was really I, weird. <laughs> I remember our family got lice real bad one year because we were in Queensland where it's yeah, tropical as we lived as in far. a caravan. And we lived in a caravan, sure. <laughs> and like it was fucking crazy how many lice our family had. We were fucked. <laughs> what if he's all sharing the same pillow? No, they fucking. The thing is, they spread, bro. When yeah, you're near each we're other, still giving each other head rubs and shit. You don't what have are to you touch. Giving head rubs. You don't have to rub heads. <laughs> it's all paint. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that the Armstrong family, like in the morning, like have a great day, guys. Head rub <laughs> instead of hugging. I want to wear the Armstrong hat today. <laughs> we only bump, share one hat. Little head, but the Armstrong hat. <laughs> I want to wear it today, Mum. <laughs> so many lies. I got a big family, but we never all got them at the same time because we would catch it quick enough. Oh, I had lice once. You know, I was at the desk. I must have had them for a while. I was at the desk doing homework, and then <laughs> just, just I remember so bugs fell out. Bro, I remember onto that. my under my that. desk. I was they're like, "Fuck, that's a lot of them." You must be oh, a, lo- a lot. There was like a bunch of them. If I've they're falling one. out, no, I was oh, like, a couple fuck. fell out. I was like, "Whoa!" I was shaking. A few more fell. Oh, I was like, yuck, "There must dude. be a lot in there." You're giving me shit. You had a fucking infestation. Yeah, I didn't bro. realize for a while because I just put up things until it's like it's like a it's like a man thing. You just put up things until okay, now I got to go somewhere. Yeah. Doing my underarm here. Yeah, I've had that before. I once um was getting a weird pain in one of my nuts, 
And I was like, I was like, fuck, what's that? That's Uncle. not, that's not normal. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> and I was like, it just kept doing it. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to have to go to a doctor and have some rando touch it. And then so I just kept, uh, so I was like, in my head, I was like, man, I got cancer, bro. This is it for me. Yeah. I was like accepting it in my own head. Mm. <laughs> Didn't have cancer. I still had to get a weird lady to touch my nut. And doctor. while she was doing, a doctor, yeah. lady, older, very stern. And I still felt like, even though I was very genuine, I still felt like, she's thinking I'm doing this as a weird sex thing, like making her touch my nut. Oh, and then you were getting weird. My, and then I started getting hard and it was the whole thing. Did you actually get hard? No. <laughs> so what was wrong with your nut? Nothing. How'd she touch it? Two hands, one? One with a glove. Okay. While I was on a bench. Professional. What, what were you bent over? Why would I be bent over? <laughs> no, it's you. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know what you why would you do. Head does. Why would you do head rubs with your whole family? I don't know you do that. <laughs> So were you sitting down, lying down? Lying down. Okay. I'm just wondering. And she felt it around in her mouth for a bit. And, and did, I, did I tell you my, my head life story overseas? No. So I was in hostels for a while. I was, I was traveling. And I had head life for ages. And as I, an adult? Yeah, I was 19. I was doing that old gap that's year an adult. thing. Yep, as an adult. <laughs> but I was in hostels. Like, you can get them in hostels. It's very easy. I've heard of bed bugs. I haven't heard of head lice. No, nah, I had head lice. And, um, and I used to buy the head lice shampoo, but I wouldn't... That shit was intense, hey? Yeah, but I wouldn't uh, comb them out. Yeah, right. Because I thought it was a myth. That. And I didn't have a comb. And I was like, I know I did you when I was younger. You kind of need someone to do it for you. Oh, you, can, you can do it, but I just didn't do it. I thought, I figured Only if I just fucking it. put heaps in, it would kill them all. And then they'll go... No, no, you got to comb them out. Them. So I kept them maybe them or some shit. Two two months I probably had them for, and my hair started falling out because I used too much of the the because that the shit's shampoo. intense, yeah, bro. Like even the smell of it, you're like, fuck, that could clear out a room. But but I remember I was in in Paris. Is that another one you just picked off your pants? No, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I was in Paris Perhaps. and I had to get more headlights shampoo. Oh, they would have looked down on you. Yeah, so they're already a, quite a posh people. In the chemist, the chemist, le chemist, they call it. <laughs> very attractive woman. Mm. Very. And I, so I had to French be like, oh, sorry, I've got, head, yeah. I've got head lice. She's like, qua? Which is like, what in yeah, French? Oh, no. I was like, I got a head lice. Qua? I'm like, not the mime, scratching my own head. It's like, yeah, little, yeah, little bugs oh. in there. Yeah. Fucking hell, you look like a crackhead when you do that. Yeah, uh, de- it's definitely in my travel <laughs> Did clothes. Did she just too. hand you the till? <laughs> 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 she just hand me the k- ketamine. I know what you want. Yeah, just just morphine and endo. Did you get rid of it? Just Did endo. you get it? Yeah, eventually I got rid of it. Fuck, that's rough. Nah, man vs. bugs. It's a, like a less less of a cool TV show, but I'm telling you, animal like animal SWAT team. So it's like a full. We're back on that, by the way. Yes, I'm pretty sure I have seen a show though where they go and like people have been mis like doing stuff bad or but not like after how animals. intense are the it's soldiers? It's not dog the bounty hunter. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, I okay. want it like dog the bounty hunter, but highly trained. So it's like the best of the best become SWAT, but then the best of the SWAT go into animals. Right. And so they're fucking like Navy SEALs. That would be funny, like C- CSI style production. Yeah. But it's like. Like Ice Cube is That'd be the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Ice Cube will burst in on her going, spit on your dog. I'll spit on you. And, bitch. and then they spit on her. <laughs> yeah. That's not okay as well, Ice Cube. That is okay, no. Okay. Eye for an eye, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Eye for an eye, mother do you think that would that'd be funny? Like if she Okay, how is she gonna learn not to do that? Uh, be publicly shamed on the internet forever. Or if someone close to her, I don't know if she's got a boyfriend, you know, or a friend, uh, her friend Abby. Sure. Every time Abby sees her spin on a dog, Abby spits on her. And say, and go, you don't like that, do you? No. Right. That's that's kind of like how you learn things aren't fun. So, right. So, you think she was actually teaching the dog is... I don't think she... N- is what you're saying. No, I'm saying <laughs> she might not know that because she might be a bit of a deviant in the bedroom and enjoy being spat on. 
So she might not think it's that bad. But, but she was doing the same thing to the dog that you're talking about right now. Well, that's what I'm saying. She doesn't if she doesn't know that spitting's that bad. People every time they see her in public, uh, you guys, if you see her, where's she from? I don't know. Just spit on her, and then <laughs> she'll know. No, then she'll know that it's not right to do to animals. Gotcha. There's a, that's like a thing you probably don't know. Try not to do things to animals you wouldn't want done to you. Right. Yeah. So it's okay to fuck them. Yeah, if it's up for it. (laughs) 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 All right, here's something I want to talk about. Let's move away from that. Stupid. (laughs) So after the big mass shootings we saw in America. Okay. So one of them happened in Walmart. Okay. Walmart did not take out the guns they stock or or the ammunition. Okay. But what they did do was take away video games temporarily. All the video games or just the violent ones? Don't know. I'd say the violent ones. I believe it's just the violent ones. But even that is... It's just so stupid. That is the stupidest thing I saw. Donald Trump came out and said that it is because of video games um, and also mental health, which obviously has a part in it. But video games, when you're not even approaching the subject of guns at all and just palming it off, um, is... So ridiculous. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. So people, as shooters in America, it's all because they played too many violent yeah. video games. That's insane. I'll give you some examples of how insane that is, but I thought I'd put some presidential music behind it. Oh, to nice, give other Tom. Examples. Oh, a little bit of... I haven't, I haven't done it yet. He's prepared for this podcast, guys. You're getting a treat. <laughs> we have come in prepared every week since week four. And it's, it's just American been getting anthem, better and bro. better. Do you want to just hold it up? You want the American know. States National Anthem? I don't know. Why not? Let's see what it is. Do you want it uh, uh, without the words, though? Yes. You need, like, an uh, instrumental yet there. So, so Trump blaming video games is similar to these. There's a diabetes epidemic in America. Children are dying due to sugar intake. To tackle this, we've taken the action to remove... Home sweet home doormats from homes across America. (laughs) The home is no place for sugar advertisements. We will replace them with mats that say, Home Savory Home. (laughs) Another example (laughs) is, There has been an unprecedented number of pedestrian fatalities in America due to drink driving. To tackle this, we now require that all pedestrians wear helmets and wave their hands as they walk on footpaths, (laughs) or they will face criminal charges. (laughs) And here's another one that is actually a bit too close to home. Climate change is threatening man's existence. To tackle this, we've taken the action of removing plastic bags from supermarkets and banning straws. So that one's kind of real. It's kind of all on the same yeah, plane funny. of how stupid it is. But uh, the so but the other two ones aren't true, and the last one was true. That's right. I got it. I got it. Did guys. you think the others were it. true? <laughs> I got it. Well, that's what I, I saw some <laughs> other one where it was like about the how America, everyone has road crashes and fatalities. And it's like, should we ban Mario Kart because it teaches irresponsible yeah, driving? It does. I'm like, I've, I've been shooting shells I've out of my car. bananas out yeah, the window. Yeah. <laughs> I've been smashing mushies to get faster. They had a graph of percentage of people who play video games, violent video games, mm. versus number of uh, shootings mm. the highest amount of video games played was in south korea who have had none shootings <laughs> yeah, that's so and then true. the second highest obviously had none shootings and then third highest was america with 262 this year and, uh, oh, it's so silly it just it's seems just a ridiculous. little bit preventable another one was like someone said Oh, because Hitler was playing all those video games back in the day. <laughs> he, lo- he loved them. <laughs> he loved them. Couldn't he get off of them. Fucking crazy cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Smashing the video games. Well, d- that's another thing. Like, this is like so many conspiracies. What if the Epstein murder was to take it t- attention away from the shootings? Yeah. Every time there's a shooting, something will happen to take attention away from it. Possibly caused by the NRA. Yeah, I feel like mm-hmm. I feel like that cunt was going to kill himself because he did horrible things, <sighs> and he had to face them. Mm. Makes more sense. To okay, me. okay. Yeah, that's another way to get out of detention. Kill yourself. <laughs> okay, Jesus. no, Tom. Is that what you were no, saying, Tom? No, I was like, I was saying, give us another suggestion. We only got one from you. 
Oh, are we still on that? I, I was trying to I was trying to move on with Have a life. seizure is a good idea. That's not fair for kids who actually have seizures. I had a mate in school who used to have seizures and it was fucking scary. Yeah. It was first like time one you of my see one, mates. it's wild, eh? Um and he like the first time no, one of the first times he got it, we were doing whitewater rafting in Penrith. You know how there's like the Olympic course where you can go yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he started having a seizure on that and everyone had to hold him because he would have fallen in the And drowned. Water. Yeah. And so you had to hold him while he's just fucking gone. I wasn't in his one, but other people had to. And another time I woke up because I was staying over and I was like, you know, how you just put a mattress on the floor. And I thought he forgot I was there and was going to the bathroom or something. But he was fucking having a seizure and I had to get up and get his parents and shit. It was crazy. Oh, shit. Did Scary shit. What do you have to do when someone's having a sh- seizure? A seizure. Seizure. I'm saying it in a friendlier okay. way so it doesn't sound so as hectic. <laughs> um, you're meant to kind of hold them still a little bit just so they don't hit something else. I thought you weren't supposed to grab them. Why? I thought you were just supposed to clear uh, hard objects and edges around from their head and then just let them seizure it That's out. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, so try to put, put cushions near their heads, but just make sure there's just nothing they can yeah, like smack m- themselves yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. But you're not supposed to hold them down, are you? No, but like move them so they're not... But yeah, they like it uses so much energy, they just sleep for ages after it. That's like seizure sleep. That's yeah. a saying. Is it? Yeah, they say, how'd you sleep last night? I slept like a a man after a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> we should start it. <laughs> do you want to do the next story? Oi, how good's the next story? My, my brother sent me this, everyone. Milk or chocolate bans redheads and fat kids from TV ad only open to beautiful angelic by the way that title took a lot of liberties because in the post they do not say no redheads or fat kids do they not they kind of allude to a type they want but they don't say no they don't say it so harsh as that title i didn't even read the read the ad they posted because i was it's fucking creepy i was too busy laughing at that headline i think that headline's just so funny yeah but this is creepy. This is like a okay. Rolf Harris list to Santa. So milk and chocolate bars, are they even Australian? No, they're Swiss. They're Swiss. So this is in Switzerland. She must be beautiful and angelic. Not just beautiful, not just angelic. Mm. Both. Yeah. Not over 12, over 11. No taller than four feet, four inches. She must be sweet and innocent. Still a little girl. It's so creepy, What bro. the fuck? There's a lot more. It's creepy as fuck. What the fuck? What sort of 10-year-old isn't sweet or innocent? Like, yeah, like, bro, you don't need to write that. Just say, like, we're looking for this person. Just and fucking just do it in the casting. Exactly. Just do it from images. You say we just want an age 9 or 12. There you go. Do like, it casting images. agents know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Wait, it does it does say no redheads. Eye colour and hair colour are not important, but no oh. red hair. <laughs> That's funny. But I don't think it says fat. No, but you they want uh, like a, an actor with a soul. Yeah. <laughs> so they can't have redhead. Yeah. What was your redhead rant he went on the one podcast? I don't, I don't think that happened. Yeah, happened. I think he just seized it out and just, uh, just went at redheads. She can be aged 9 to 12. If she is 12, she must be very small and still be childlike. She's very special. Fucking hell. I don't so even want to read all bro. of this. Very saying very pretty slash beautiful like fucking pick one. Bro, I'm gonna cut this bit and just put it on a Tinder profile. <laughs> you <laughs> saying all this <laughs> stuff, <laughs> Frenchie? What is your ideal girl? And then just post this. Must be very experienced, a brilliant actor. <laughs> that would be fucking just a stitch up. That would get me on a watch list, bro. <laughs> You're trying to change the hashtag, aren't you? Yeah. Redemption. I don't know. It's hectic. I eh? don't know. But then, right, all right. So they put that out, and then obviously they got a lot of backlash. So then they did another post saying, we got it wrong and we're really sorry. On Thursday, one of the casting directors who uses Spotlight's platform published a casting call or a breakdown, as they're known in the trade, on our platform, which absolutely did not... Oh, so this is the actual company, not the chocolate company. This is the, like, ad... Yeah, it's the ad company, yeah. yeah. So maybe they haven't even responded yet. So this is the person who's supposed to make the ad for them. Like, oh, and this is the character in the ad. Her favorite song is "Heroes" from David Bowie. That's fucking random bit of information. (laughs) Yeah, what the fuck? 
<laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that's creepy ass. It's funny in this day and age how companies can still be so shit. Because you see that on the... Whenever you watch free-to-air TV, you will look at an ad and be like, how can that be so shit? How the fuck can someone write such a shit ad, someone approve such a shit ad, and then the rest of you make such a shit ad? The problem is it's always the client, I find. Like, the uh, client okay. is like... Because they're the chocolate company, so they're like, blah, 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 blah. Like, they've just got... She must be angelic. Like, yeah, like, they just know chocolate, but they're telling, like, creative fucking agencies how to do it. And that's what it's... So they've got a vision for an ad which might be really shit. Yeah. And then they'll be like, no, and then like, make this edit, make well, this edit. yeah, you've got to do it or we won't pay you. So or we like, won't pay yeah. you. Okay, I got you. But, okay. I did a... um. I was in an ad on the weekend. I won't tell you what it is. Oh, yeah, could, Tom. That legit thing was happening. Like the, the like people from the agency are there, and you've also got a director who's like from out outsource, like an actual director. Are you listening? Or yeah, what? I'm listening. You got to outsource director. <laughs> Frenchie, I'm listening. So, um, they kept coming over and like saying stuff to the director and you could just see the director's face like, I've got to listen to you, but you're fucking And he's stupid. hating it. Yeah, like, this is not... This is like a director yeah. who's done whatever He's probably done film films. School, like, a lot of the films. TVC directors, because the budget's so big for yeah, these paid things. so much more. And they're like, they've done movies before and they're doing these fucking TVCs. When will we see you on this ad, Tom? Oh, who knows? Because I know all our listeners. If you haven't seen Tom in that Macca's ad, look it up right now. He is amazing in it. I don't know how you're going to look it up. Um, just do McDonald's Monopoly ad <laughs> 2000. And, was it this year or last year? I think it was last year. Try last year, if not this year. Um, Australian McDonald's Monopoly ad this year or last year. <laughs> we need Can you do the screen for us? We need Macca's as a sponsor. That it, do we have sponsors this week? No. Okay, no sponsors this week. If we have any uh, anyone who wants to sponsor... A child? No, not a child. They're starving in Africa. We have actually going to open up the sponsorships. Have Are you, we? Yes. Okay. Just this short time. If anyone's got uh, their own company or <laughs> you pay enough, we will uh, rip on your mates on air like a little cameo style thing. Oh, right. I thought you were going to say if they've got businesses to promote. Oh, businesses too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but also, if you've got a spare 12 and a half bucks. It's not that cheap. Let's not say okay. that because we're going to get a lot of dumb okay, messages. Okay, maybe. You okay. want to propose to your girlfriend? Message, you message got $8. Frenchies. You propose to your girlfriend. You want to propose to your boyfriend. You want to tell your teacher you can't make detention. Just flip us some money and we'll do it on air on the podcast. We will be taking applications through all Frenchie's social media <laughs> at, at Sunger Attack. We didn't talk this through at all and Tom's no. stressing now. No, I'm you not want to get paid, this. son? You want to yeah, get 12, paid? $12 Make that cash money. Take money from our little 12-year-old fans. That's what I want to do. Yeah, but you put that in a multi, you can you can make any Frenchie, you're of money. not allowed to do that anymore. I know I'm not allowed <laughs> to do that. Oh, yeah, I had a friend, okay, on... um. So there was a rugby game on Saturday night, Australia versus All Blacks. On Thursday, he posted a betting slip on Facebook. He goes, safe as houses, and it was Australia to win by 13-plus points, which is a ridiculous bet. Australia never beat New Zealand in the rugby. Everyone knows that. 13-plus is just insane. And he bet 100 bucks on it, so it would have paid $2,300. Yeah. Saturday night comes around. I flick to the rugby a little bit. New Zealand get a player sent off. Ooh. Just on half time when the scores are neck and neck. So Australia win by 21 points. He goes to collect it. Uh oh, the ticket's been collected because Stupid you can cunt. just use the, yeah. the pin, the VIN number or whatever it is on the ticket and That's say, cool. hey, I don't have the ticket. I got the picture You've of it. Heard though. Of, like on Everyone Cup, knew this. Everyone knows Everyone that. knows this except my mate. And people were messaging him at, during the game going, you better go collect it, bro. You shouldn't have posted that picture. What a fucking idiot. He's like, idiot. yeah, I'll get it. He got it like 10 minutes after, already gone. <laughs> but here's the thing. It, it serves him right. Has to be one of his Facebook friends. Yeah. And Unless so, it's public. No. Nah, nah. But like someone might have shown him, going, look at this bet. This guy got up. But there's... He deserves it, but... But <laughs> there's... Security cameras, wherever you collect tabs, like it's a legislation thing. You have to have a security camera where you're going to collect 
the money and the, it's you have to walk through a pub which has got mm. more security cameras. So he's going to go to the cops and find out who it was. Do you reckon you can? Yes, 100%. Because this has happened, as you know, so many times before. Mm. And this is the whole reason they have it. Otherwise, Tab has to pay out twice. But do they? Because it's, yeah. it's, like it's just stealing. Don't be it's stupid. stealing. Yeah. It's stealing. That's so awkward. Imagine it's, if it's, it's his stealing mom. two thousand dollars. That's what I was thinking. Well, yeah. who's it gonna be? What if it was the? It'd Bra- just be like someone. What if it was the Brazilian gangster <laughs> just as his daughter? Oh, that's good. They're like, sorry, sir, we can't see who did it. They were dressed as you. <laughs> they were dressed as you. They just wear like a silicon mask. I thought, I'm so interested to see who did it, who, who did it too. And like, I can imagine a lot. Must of people be someone in the know, but he, just like, on Facebook doing. Not that. that many people would have seen it. He doesn't have that many friends on Facebook. Right. You know what I mean? And it's not like heaps of people were getting tagged in. It was just like a few people had a laugh. Like, lol. Yeah, I guess it's just so stupid. You'd be like this fucking guy. I know. All I right. Know. I've got some five-star reviews to read. Oh, out. thank you for the five-star reviews, guys. Have you ever laughed so hard you cummed? Yeah, I did it while teaching. Now that my fourth grade smells like doodle juice. Wow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Love yous. Hey, Fenchy. <laughs> There's no R. I hate it when I get called what? Fenchy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best part about being a crackhead? Only two more sleeps until Christmas. Yep. And what does Tom and a PlayStation have in common? Kids turn them on. Wow. <laughs> some gold there. <laughs> world's, <laughs> world's best potty. Easily. Oh, wait. No, this isn't one we've read. <laughs> Thought it was too nice. Like we had Yeah, I was, like, I was like. What? Easily the best podcast. I look forward to it each week and always seems to make Mondays a lot easier to get through. You guys never fail to make me laugh. Patiently waiting for you to come to a show in London for all us Aussies over here. That was from Rach. Thanks, Rach. Fuck yeah, Rach. When Fuck are you going yeah. to London, Frenchie? I'm going next year for some stand-up. Do you want to come along? Maybe. Mm. There you go. I'm, I've do got stand-up go shows. I'm going to go. I might do Edinburgh too. Edinburgh Fringe Festival's on right now, actually. Why didn't you go this year? year? You just don't just really a make off. a lot of money. Yeah. So I kind of just thought it I'd would stay be down. A punish. Yeah, it's a lot. What's NGL stand for? Not going to lie, I reckon. Uh, not going to lie. I feel like you are my best friends. I, r- I made the best bit up. Yeah, best <laughs> friends. <laughs> you guys are my friends and occasionally talk back to you and <laughs> listening to you on my way to work. Bit weird, but whatever. Feel like you should put me on the podcast, by the way. Love yous. That's from Tori Inda. Tori Inda? Tori? We've got a few girls writing yeah. reviews. This is good, Tom. That's good. Because I've been going to the gym, I'm telling you, the girls are coming back. You've been going just to the to gym? See, yeah, just to see my guns. What have you been doing? Just upper body, traps, <laughs> <laughs> only traps, bro. I can't imagine you doing upper body. Didn't I tell you I joined the gym? Yeah. yeah, you told me, but you told me you were doing the exercise machines. Yeah, but like, now I've been doing like... I, I, do, can, I can imagine you on the elliptical. I start on those ones and, and then people I... think you are an elliptical. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Doodle yeah. juice. Turning fifteen this week would be absolutely mad if you boys could give me a shout out. Keep up the good work. Best part of my week is tuning in to the podcast every week. Tom's hashtag Tom's is a handsome man. Hashtag Frenchie is a legend. Oh, that's nice. Those William Tyrrell, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, Billy. Billy Tyrrell. Billy Tyrrell. Willie Tilly. Oh, this says oh no. I think we read that actually. That was some nice hashtags. I like those ones more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That's <sighs> it from us. Um, That's it from us. Hopefully, we'll sort out our fucking. As I mentioned last situation. week, my just dropped uh, my tour. I'm going on tour. Every, Go see Frenchy. Every place in Australia. Frenchycomedy.com slash tickets. Turn it up. Don't miss it. Tom's going to have new videos coming out soon. I've got two this week. Oh, I've got an any? idea for you. Is it? This is this is something I'm bringing up right now for a video for us. Okay. So, a beauty kind of company hit me up, uh, like a spa place. Awesome. They said I can come in and um, do multiple things. They've got like hydration float tanks where you like relax. Yep. One of the options kind of piqued my interest. Get your balls checked. Almost. (laughs) (laughs) What? What's the thing where you get the hose up your ass and it flushes you out? Oh. (laughs) Colon. Colon. Colonoscopy. No. No. Colonic. Colonic. (laughs) You can get a colonic. I was like, can we film us getting colonics? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it might be good for the podcast. <laughs> colonic irrigation is what it's called. Colonic. So they just stick a hose up your ass. I, I, I and it guess. Just flushes That's it what out. I imagine. 
imagine how much stuff will come out. Oh, dude. Like, because that's our whole life. I'm actually, I'd be scared. Like, well, I had the runs the other week, so I got a lot out then. I've been sick, so it'd probably be good for me. But it scares the shit so, out of me. So, was there any nice things we can do too? Or just yeah, there was colonics? like hydration tank where you like float, salt thing. So we'd probably want to... Like in a pod, you know, on the You probably wouldn't want to do the colonic in that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just floating around with you. Yeah, I've literally juices. got it. Oh, let yeah, me get it up. I'll Let's do that. Because I was like, I that's funny do, content. I like, want to do more podcast stuff where like... That's what I thought. Let's that's do it like, like, like Rove Live and we can throw to... Okay, we went and got a colonic, colonic yesterday and yeah. here's our audio from See, it. I want to do a video of Here it. Here we are getting colonic a colonic. The irrigation. hose is going up my butt. Tell me when it's up there. It's in there. Oh, I didn't even feel it. That's weird. <laughs> There's um, two <laughs> hoses in Frenchie. He is loose as a goose. Flotation <laughs> tank. Hyperbaric oxygen. Fuck yeah. Infrared sauna. Infrared sauna. What even is that? Salt room. What even's an infrared sauna? Salt room. That sounds... So what do you reckon? We'll go? Yes. Fuck oath. All right. I'll organize we'll it. We'll need a cameraman. We'll yeah, I'll get yeah, a cameraman. We'll it. Let's do it. Fuck <laughs> it. Let's do it this weekend. Yeah. Have I'll we got to do a Hillsong Church too? Yeah. I, I don't think it'll be as exciting as you think. It will be. Okay. Trust me. I know churches. Can we film that? Yes. Okay. Secretly. Yeah, let's do it. Can we get a pen camera? Fuck oh if we can. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning uh, in. Yeah. Love you. Um, remember, don't be friends with pedophiles. Yeah. And what was the other one we learned? Keemstar's Do- also. Keemstar's a troll. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Nah, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Sorry, the start of the colonic. <laughs>